Welcome back, Rust community, to another episode of Configures Corner, where I teach the basic and advanced levels of Rust electricity, where it's my sole intent to take your skills to the next level. And today we're doing that by showing you the destruction detection circuit. This is some major Rust wizardry, boys. This is a big one. Comenzando con el numero uno. Starting with number one, we have a simple little circuit that someone in the community showed me and I'm honestly surprised and ashamed of myself that I didn't come up with this at least on my own. And it's so simple because what we have here is some electricity passing right to this blocker which is trying to turn on this smart alarm but it can't because we have an electrical component, whatever one you want that can be placed anywhere that has a pass-through is blocking this main blocker so say uh, this wall right if this wall gets destroyed in turn this destroys as well releasing the blocker from being blocked and allowing energy to turn on the smart alarm very straightforward right super simple very useful for things Coming in with number two is one of my personal designs where I leverage the nature of a splitter. Ever since a couple of updates ago, they changed the splitter where it's now able to take any power that's remaining from a disconnected power out on the splitter and reallocate it evenly and split it amongst any remaining connected power outs on the splitter. Now down here we have a branch and it's set to 21 because what it's doing is just controlling the amount of electricity we're sending to our splitter because in this case we want 21 we want 10 units of power going to our endpoint and we want that other 10 units of power going to our detection system here and we have this branch set to 10 to intercept this 10 units of power so it's not accidentally prematurely setting off our alarm or contingency plan you can take this 10 units of power and just hard power anything auxiliary that you might have or maybe another circuit and so the idea is when I disconnect this this 10 units of power is going to be transferred over to this output the last remaining connected output on the splitter and then what's going to happen there is since this is set to 10 there's already 10 units of power going in here this threshold is satisfied and it's going to pass any extra energy through this power out and power your alarm here like so and the interesting thing is it's not really any waste of power when you lose power here because all the power powering your main frontline defense can then be just switched over to power a second line of defense before I show you all these last two examples because y'all are gonna freak y'all are gonna freak once I show you these last two examples um, I want to go over what esoteric means all right esoteric intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with a specialized knowledge or interest okay now i think it's time to introduce to you a gift from god himself the need destruction detecting circuit and it works based off of these two components the timer the branch in the way that the branch is wired to the timer and a particular game mechanic and this mechanic fires off anytime you add it or remove a component from a circuit whether it be a blocker a timer an or switch heck even a turret will set this off anything that has a pass through 
why this is happening is because anytime you add or subtract a component from your circuit, it's forcing the game to take a snapshot of your circuit because it's single threaded, not multi threaded, meaning it can only handle so many processes at once. And to make the game more efficient, it helps itself out by taking a picture of your circuit anytime you add or subtract something from it to help it remember what it does a little bit quicker when you need to execute a function in your circuit. And in the process of this game taking a snapshot of your circuit, what it's doing is running electricity throughout the entire circuit simultaneously at once. It's not sending electricity through it in the normal passage way. It's sending it through the whole thing all at once. Everything's getting powered all at one time. Which brings us back to this. Now, when the power is instantaneously powering all of this because the game is taking a snapshot of the circuit, the input of the timer and the toggle on of the timer are getting powered at the same time, so it's turning on the timer. Now, I have this set for one second, and it will output power for one second. Now, if I set it to 10 seconds, it would output power for 10 seconds. And the way that we wired it up was to remedy the fact that there is outside things that can make this system act quirky. And this mediates that whole problem by having the output on the electrical branch that outputs electricity faster, allows the electricity to hit the toggle on of the timer before this pink wire sends electricity to the actual input of the timer so to demonstrate what that does right we'll have the faster electricity hit the toggle on first see it doesn't turn on now for the sake of drilling into your head why we're hooking this up in a particular order is because when we reverse the order in the way we deliver power to this timer where this uh, electric input for the timer gets power first before the toggle on what it's going to do is actually turn on now and that's a problem if you were to swap these connection points so this one were to actually go to the toggle on and this were to go to look at electric input because that's what that is doing this is going to be sending power here first and then this is going to be sending power here last okay and you don't want that to be hooked up this way because every time the power fluctuates or the game updates or some other quirky stuff happens, it's going to cause this to trigger when you don't want it to. So make sure you hook this up in the proper way and you won't have any issues. This is how I use this in a real world situation. Um, just an example, we have our detection wire. Uh, coming over to the splitter and it's splitting in three directions uh, up here it's going to these lights so if someone were to sit, you know rocket these lights out just in the attempt of rocketing out a wall or blowing up a wall you're gonna know that ahead of time before they are able to knock down that wall then you also have your turrets out here right and what's happening here is we're merging this detection line with a line that powers our turrets and see the turrets are still downstream of our detection wire and our detection circuit so if we add a remove boom 
it activates our smart alarm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our broadcast for this evening. Thank you very much for sticking with us to the end. I cannot wait to witness the exquisite pain and suffering you're going to administer on your foes with these circuits. Yeah, please, get back to me. Tell me your stories. At me at Discord on the Rusticity Workshop. Let's talk. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment that you love me and you want more awesome Rust Electricity videos. Okay? This one was popping. I'll see you on the next one.